Most people stop probiotics too soon after an infection, but do you really need to take them forever? If you're wondering how long you should be taking probiotics for, especially after antibiotic use or having an infection, you're not alone. In this video, you'll learn why higher doses of probiotics are helpful if you have an infection and after taking antibiotics, when a low or long-term maintenance dose is best, can you eat fermented foods instead of taking probiotics, and you'll learn why everybody's probiotic needs can be different. Let's start with the times your body needs the most help during an infection or right after antibiotic use. When you're fighting off a bacterial infection, especially something like a C. diff gut infection, your gut bacteria can be thrown completely out of balance. And antibiotics, while sometimes they are necessary, they don't just wipe out the bad bacteria, but they also take out large amounts of your good healthy flora. This is when higher dose of probiotics can really shine. You can think of it like sending in reinforcements during a battle. That's when you want that extra support to protect your gut lining, to help crowd out uh, harmful or pathogenic bacteria and reduce gut inflammation. So a common question we hear is once an infection is over or once antibiotics have stopped, should I continue taking probiotics every day? And the answer is it depends. If you're still having ongoing gut issues, a weak digestion, chronic inflammation, these are reasons you might wanna consider taking a small daily dose of probiotics. This is more of a maintenance strategy, like watering your garden every day. Once your plants are healthy, you're just giving them water to keep them going. You're not fighting a fire anymore, you're just helping keep things balanced. That said, not everybody needs to take probiotics forever. If your digestion is solid, your gut symptoms are good, and you're eating a diet that's appropriate for your body, you might be getting everything you need. People also wonder if they can just eat fermented foods instead of taking probiotics. And the answer is yes, if the fermented foods are high quality and if your gut tolerates them well. But it's important to note that fermented foods are not a direct replacement for probiotics. Fermented foods and probiotics both help the gut, but they do so in different ways. Most of the benefits from fermented foods do not actually come from the live cultures living in the food. It's the nutrients that the bacteria make while fermenting that help your GI tract and your immune system. The cultures in fermented foods don't do much to alter the balance in your microbiome, and that's where a probiotic comes in. If you have chronic gut challenges like irritable bowel, IBS, dysbiosis or gut overgrowths like candida or C. diff, you'll need strong probiotic support to make a significant shift in your microbiome. So while fermented foods can be a great addition to your diet and they can work together with probiotics to help your microbiome, they probably won't take the place of probiotic supplements, especially if you're dealing with significant gut issues. Also keep in mind that certain fermented foods like aged cheese, kombucha, or sauerkraut are high in histamines. And if you have a histamine sensitivity, that can cause reactions like headaches, rashes, or gut discomfort. Your best options are raw, homemade, unpasteurized fermented foods like kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi. These homemade foods are full of beneficial bacteria and compounds they make like vitamins and enzymes and minerals, and that really supports your beneficial flora in your GI system. But here's the challenge. Not everybody has the time or energy to make these fermented foods from scratch at home. And when you pick them up at your store, they're often full of sugars or processed ingredients. And most importantly, many of these foods, when you buy them at the store, they've been pasteurized. And when they're pasteurized, that kills all of the healthy bacteria inside of that product. So if you're a busy mom, uh, if you work a lot, if you travel a lot, 
Probiotic supplements can actually be your best friend because it's hard to take fermented foods with you. It's important to note that everybody's gut microbiome is unique to them. So a few years ago, I started taking Bacillus probiotics and I noticed a big difference on day one. And I've continued to feel that difference over the years. So I still continue to take Bacillus probiotics because they help me feel my best. But I'll also listen to my body and how I feel. Like if I feel I have some extra gut disturbances going on, I might pull out a Saccharomyces boulardii probiotic and take that for a little while and I'll feel better. Or I might take a Bacillus subtilis probiotic for a while and I'll just switch things out depending on how I feel. Some doctors will recommend rotating your probiotics, and some people do that. I think that occurs more with the uh, lactobacillus or bifidobacteria because they work a little different. I will rotate my bacillus probiotics on occasion as well. Now, the point is, is you may find your probiotic needs change over time, and that's okay. And you might also find that your probiotic needs shift based on your diet. If you're eating a real clean diet, uh, organic, low sugar, low inflammatory diet with plenty of real whole foods, your gut may need less outside support. Some experts in the keto or carnivore uh, spaces even argue that probiotics and supplements aren't needed with those nutrient rich diets. They believe that that diet will stabilize the gut enough that you wouldn't need probiotics unless you're going through some kind of a stress or a illness situation. And while I 100% agree that such a good diet, you know, if it's doing well for your body is just huge for your overall health, if you're still facing any kind of chronic gut challenge, you may find probiotics will be best for you for the long term. So what's the bottom line? If probiotics are helping you feel better, they can absolutely be part of your long-term wellness routine. Just keep in mind that it's totally normal that your needs may change over time. But here's the thing that surprises most people about probiotics. Most popular probiotics don't actually survive the trip through your stomach and all the acidic, harsh conditions there. And some probiotics are actually dead before you even take them. So in this next video, I'm going to walk you through which probiotic strains actually survive, which ones work, especially if you're trying to rebuild your gut after antibiotics or going through infections.